I wonder if the elves have mundane objects as we do, for even their common containers and vessels seem uncommonly fine. This artifact was once part of a table setting given as a gift centuries ago. The other parts were broken when one of Mordor's many ground tremors knocked them off a shelf. How I wish my predecessors had saved the broken shards. That's a puzzle I'd like to reassemble. Elven things deserve to last. What sort of feasts do the elves have? State the affairs, not as raucous as orcs or men. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'll kill you clean before those shriekers carry you off into the sky. They do love to play with their food. <laughs> Ethel will fall. You will die, and soon we will march upon all of Gondor. Clear off, you're useless! You ready to die? 
When Aenar didn't return from his confrontation with the Witch King, word of his fall spread like wildfire across Gondor. The Witch King's forces were regrouping, rapidly seizing lands once under Aenar's rule. Some regions fell so quickly that letters sent by the first ruling steward of Gondor, Mardil, never reached their destinations. For generations we stored the unread letters here, destined to remain forever sealed. We know those lost Gondorians will never claim their letters, but we keep them to honor their memory. I wonder what will become of the last few letters I sent on my father's behalf. You are not tempted to read the letters? No need. I know the heart of my people, so I know what they say. <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on, 
Every orc iron slave bears my brand. Hot iron on seared flesh. Soon I will brand you as well, and show all of Mordor I own you. <laughs>
They say scars make an Uruk proud. Me, they just make me itch. Time to scratch it. I'm 
for murder! Try fake skin! Oh, <laughs> 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 